Dear students, today we consider problem number 3, exercise 7.5, NCRT book, class 12, and integration by partial fraction. So there are three methods, one is method of substitution, another is integration by partial fraction, and the last one is integration by parts. So we consider partial fraction method. Now we consider problem number 3, 1 and 2, it was given in last video. Now we consider this in video number 2, 1 and 2, problem number 1 and 2 done. Now we consider this. So this is partial fraction. First we consider what is the power of x in denominator x, 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 x cube and numerator is x. This power 3, this power 2. This is proper fraction. So I consider let x minus 1 by x, x 3x minus 1 by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, this equal to a by x minus 1, b by x minus 2, c by x minus 3, this is number 1 you consider. Just in denominator, we have three factors, so we write three constants. Now, taking LCM of this, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3. In numerator, this is x minus 1 cancel. We get x minus 2, x minus 3. And here, x minus 2 cancel. We get x minus 1, x minus 3. And the last one c into x minus 1, x minus 2 we get. So if we taking LCM, we get this. Now this LCM, these two are cancel. We get 3x minus 1 equal to a into x minus 2, x minus 3, b into x minus 1, x minus 3, c into x minus 1, x minus 2. This is number 2 we consider. Now we putting the values of x in such a way that the two terms will be 0. If we putting x equal to 2, then 2 minus 2, 0. x equal to 3, then 3 minus 3, 0. x equal to 1, then 1 minus 1, 0. Now putting x equal to first we putting 1 this implies if we putting x equal to 1 then we get 3 into 1 minus 1 a into 1 minus 2 1 minus 3 b into 1 minus 1 1 minus 3 c into 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 we get this one and this implies 3, 3 minus 1, this is a, this is minus 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, b into 0, c into 0, 1 minus 1, 0, here 1 minus 1, 0. So we get 2 equal to twice a, and 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 equal to twice a, and a equal to we get 1. Next, we putting putting x equal to 2. This implies 3 into 2 minus 1, a into 2 minus 2, 2 minus 3, b into 2 minus 1, 2 minus 3, c into 2 minus 1, 2 minus 2. So this is 6 minus 1, a into 0, b into 1 minus 1, c into 0. This is 5 equal to minus b and b equal to we get minus 5. We get the value of b. Again, we putting putting 
x equal to 3 in equation 2 we get we putting x equal to 3 we get 3 into 3 minus 1 a into 3 minus 2 3 minus 3 b into 3 minus 1 3 minus 3 and c into 3 minus 1 3 minus 2 and this will be 9 minus 1 this is 0 this is 0 c into 2 1 so this will be 8 equal to twice c and c equal to 4 we get therefore we get a equal to 1 b equal to minus 5 and c equal to 4 we putting this value in equation number 1 now 1 implies we putting these values in equation number 1 we get 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 a by x minus 1 1 by x minus 1 minus b b means minus 5 5 by x minus 2 c means 4 by x minus 3 we get this but in our problem integration so we integrate both sides therefore integration 3x minus 1 x minus 1 x minus 2 x minus 3 dx this equal to dx by x minus 1 5 dx by x minus 2 4 dx by x minus 3 so we integrate both sides with respect to x because this is our requirement now the coefficient of x is 1 and positive so i consider this whole is x here also coefficient of x 1 and positive here also coefficient of x 1 and positive if coefficient of x 1 and positive then we consider whole is x dx by x means log modulus of x x minus 1 that means 5 dx by x this is log of x minus 2 and this is dx by x coefficient of x is 1 and positive dx by x whole we consider x dx by x then this is log of x minus 3 plus c so we get this is log x minus 1 5 minus 5 log x minus 2 plus 4 x minus 3 and this is our final answer very nice solution so dear students this solution is very easy and this solution is clear if clear then this is our answer if not clear then also answer but uh, the thing is that uh, you have to remember how many factors in denominator whether this is proper fraction or improper if the power of numerator less than its power of denominator then this is proper friction then directly consider three factors we consider three constants and we find the constants a b c and after finding the constant a b c we putting the values of a b c in place of this and we get this and if we integrate uh, we can consider this is u also or z also but this solution will be long if this is u this is v this is w we consider three variables no need to take just you have to remember if the coefficient of x is 1 and positive then whole we consider x dx by x log x and here also positive 1 and positive dx by x log x and here also dx by x log x and this is the final answer so if you are feeling easy then please like this video and if you are new in my channel then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you